Yeah. Welcome to this week's Brown vs. Brown Trivia. I'm Eric Ashby Brown, and I have my young son, Connor Scott Brown. Say hi, Connor. Uh, there we are. So we're going to try to do this every week. We're going to have some trivia thrown at us and to see if the elder Brown or the younger Brown is better in winning in this one. So, ladies, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. The first question. What's category? Soccer. All right, so we're on soccer. I'm already down on this one. Okay. The first question. This is about the World Cup 2022. Okay. In which stage of the tournament were Argentina not given a penalty? A, last 16, B, quarterfinals, C, semifinals, or D, final? I'm going to go with B. What do you say, Connor? Argentina, Messi. Um, I'm going to say round of 16. So which is that, A or B? Or I, don't, I don't know. Which one is that? Okay, A, wait. A is last 16, B is quarterfinals, B. C is semifinals, and D is final. B with Brown. A. All right, let's see. The answer is A. Oh, man, I beat me on that one. Okay, let's go to the next, next one. one? Yeah. That was close. <coughs> uh, this week's uh, sponsorship is brought to you by Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines <laughs> Coffee. Okay, back to you at the studios. Okay. Who was the only player to score two goals in two different games? A. Messi B. Gonzalo Ramos C. Kylian Mappé or D. Oliver Giroud I don't know how to say that, but... Giroud. Alright, I picked first last time. Who are you going with? Um, I'm going to go with Kylian Mbappé. I'm going with Mbappé too. Is that the French guy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with C. And the answer is C. Yes! <laughs> Two points each. All right. <laughs> Wait, he's winning. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. How many yellow cards did England receive in their first five matches? A Number one, none. Or A, none. A, none. B, one. C, four. Or D, six. In which, all right, repeat the question. How many yellow cards did England receive in their five matches? All right, so a yellow card is a warning. That means like the be human talking about, no, 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 <laughs> don't do it. So I'm going to say, hello. And what was the number? <laughs> okay, A, nine, B, one, C, four, or D, six? I'm going with D. I'm going with six. I'm going to go with D. Wrong. Oh, what was it? B1. B1. All right. Bingo. So we both got that one wrong. Yeah. Are we all soccer today? Is that all we're doing? No, we're we'll okay. doing music. All right. Good, good, good. We're, we're we presidential three. history. Three. Okay, so do five. We'll do soccer. five. Yeah. Five. Okay. This is number four. Yeah. Okay. Which team did not have a single shot in one of their games? A, Qatar. B, Wales, C, Costa Rica, D, USA. Okay. Wales has that really good player. He's got the long hair. But yeah, that's the guy. So, and it was in Qatar, wasn't it? So they did well. Uh, what was the third one? The third one? Um, Costa Rica. And what was the fourth one? USA. I'm going to say C. It was Costa Rica. I'm going to say Qatar. And the answer is Costa Rica. Yes! We're tied! <laughs> Qatar, I remember they did well because of yeah, They sucked. They lost every game. Oh, okay. I must have okay. been watching a different World Cup than you. All right, this is the tiebreaker question. Okay. So, both teams scored penalties in the final. And which other final has this happened? A, 1986, B, 2006, C, 1974, or D, 1970? 96 was a choice. 1986 is A, um, 2006 is B, 1974 is C, and then 1970 is D. And that was a penalty kick? Yeah. All right, I want to say that 86 had Argentina in it, didn't it? It had um, Marinado, or um, what was that guy? Diego. Maradona, Maradona, <laughs> and he played against. He went against England. I totally might be wrong, but I'm gonna say 86. 
I like the 80s, so I'm going with the 80s. Well, I'll say 2006. You guys are both wrong, so I'll give you another question. So I win! You guys are tied. What year was it? It was 1974. So I was closer. You are close. Then I won. No, because it was... Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, time break. Good enough. Got another breaker. penalty shot. Which team wore three different shirts in a tournament? A. France. B. Canada. C. Japan. D. Belgium. The, I'm going to say Belgium because the Netherlands come in the you know orange. I think it's orange. They probably had a blue. They probably had a white. I'm going to go with the Netherlands. The Dutch. Wait, what were the options? <laughs> France. A. France. Canada. Japan. Important. You gotta say Canada. Eh? I'm so, gonna say the Netherlands. He said me. Like, wait, wait, wait. wait. Netherlands is not here. Huh? Why'd you say Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> wait. A France, B Canada, C Japan, D Belgium. Uh, be oh, okay. Let's go to Belgium. I'll say France. It's Canada. Oh my goodness! Canadians? <laughs> so we hey. keep going? Can we keep it going? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Give us one where it has to be one or the other. Like true or false. But then we can both say the same well, answer. Then we got to pick a different one. We got to do rock, paper, scissors. I don't have any true or false. Huh? Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Just, just keep going. All right, keep going. Wait. Just keep going? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. First round. <laughs> We're at deadlock. Should we do that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which team? <laughs> I'm picking a team that's not even on my <laughs> Which team received the most yellow cards? A. We did this one. <laughs> no, we didn't do this oh, okay. one. We did this one. Okay. Which team received the most yellow cards? A. Morocco. 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 B. Netherlands. C. Argentina. Or D. Saudi Arabia. All right, look. This is my Jedi power. I was thinking ahead of the game. <laughs> so it's Netherlands. I was so far ahead of it. It's the Netherlands. <laughs> what? It's Argentina. Did you pick Argentina? Well, he won. <laughs> he won. Congratulations to the younger Brown. Okay, oh, you go because I just did one. Okay, so this is the music genre. All right, we're in music. Yeah. So switching out of soccer. I want presidential history. Okay. All right, let's go music. Who was awarded? Wait, the very first gold record. A. The Beatles. <laughs> B. Perry Como, C. Elvis Presley, D. Nat King Cole. Oh man, that's gonna be a tough one. Connor, you gotta pick. <laughs> I'm gonna go through history. So I'm gonna go the great Nat King Cole. And then, hey, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> you name a song that King Cole sings. <laughs> Don't get around much anymore. It's wrong. It's Perry Como. Oh man. Okay, <laughs> I was close. Okay. Okay. What pop singer is known as the quote-unquote material girl? No, I got it. I don't even need <laughs> the names. I don't even need it. Okay, just say it. Madonna. Okay, so... All right, give him the choices. There's A, Madonna, B, Britney Spears, C, Christian Aguilera, or D, Taylor Swift. Madonna. <laughs> yep. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. <laughs> She's we living in a material world. Okay. So on for you. Wait for a signal. Okay, okay, I gotta wait. Then <laughs> then hit the buzzer. Okay. You gotta get his buzzer. Yeah. Uh, that... What's that one that says? It's like a red one. Goes, That'll do it. Or something like that. There is. I'm serious. Yeah, I've seen him on it. No, because I That's see it though. Um, just what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Don't this will be every week. Just do, do that one. one. What? Why should we get all this? Wait. Questions? No. Don't do that one. That one's hard. Okay. Just do that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. Never mind. Okay. Which jazz musician was known for playing a bent trumpet? A. Chet Baker. <laughs> B. Miles Davis. C. Louis Armstrong. D. Dizzy Gillespie. Dizzy Gillespie. Yeah. Dizzy Gillespie. All right, I'm going to go say a bent trumpet. I mean, I know all of these guys, but I'm going to say 
It's uh, it's Louis Armstrong. Um, A. It's DZ. Dizzy Gillespie? Yeah. All right. Okay. This is a tough one. Okay. What singer holds the world record for most words in a hit single? A. Kanye West, B. Busta Rhymes, C. 50 Cent, or D. Eminem? What's the question again? Uh, what singer holds the world record for most wor words in a hit single? Eminem. And is it Stan? Is that the name of the song? I don't know, but right. you guys both got a point. It's Rap God. Oh, okay. Alright. What did Freddie Mercury attribute oh. his enhanced vocal range to? What's this? <laughs> Freddie Mercury did what? Yeah, attribute his enhanced wait. Enhanced yeah, vocal enhanced. range to. Okay. <laughs> Larger lungs, lots of practice, genetics, extra teeth. Do you want to go first? Go. Teeth. 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 That's yeah. correct. Yep. Okay, well, how many questions are we? Who did Freddie Mercury sing I for? I think they're tied right now. It's 3-3. Three, three. Ask me who Freddie Mercury sang for. And then I can... No, we got next question. All right, next Because <laughs> I know it. Oh, queen. Okay. Um, what was the first rock and roll song to hit number one on the charts? A, Rock rock Around the Clock. B, That's All Right. Um, C, Tutti Frutti. Or D, Heartbreak Hotel. All right, two of them are Elvis' songs. <laughs> One of them is Bill Haley in the comments, and uh, then uh, Little Richard. I'm going to go with That's All Right Mama by Elvis Preston. That's my final answer. Why do you keep on picking my stuff? Okay, that's wrong. Oh, what was it? It's Rock Around the Rock Clock. Rock Around the Clock by, by Bill Haley in the yeah, comments. Yeah. This, this is our last one. This is, this is the tiebreaker. I thought we said that we already had a tiebreaker. Tie breaker. All right, tiebreaker. No, He's you guys are so tied. Answer, it. It's three three right now. Okay, three to three. <clears throat> we might not get the right answers, okay. but we're at least entertaining. <laughs> Who did the vocals for Pink Floyd's "Great Gig in the Sky"? A. Claire Torrey. B. Vicky Brown. C. Janis Joplin. Yeah. D. Roger Waters. Okay, you okay? Uh, B. All right, who do you say? Brown. Brown. I'm gonna say Roger Waters. What, Roger Waters? He's part of Pink Floyd. Claire Tory. All right, I didn't know that one. I okay, do you guys do the last one or just? Yeah, keep on going. Okay. I don't have to go to class. You got some hard questions. Are they like on high level, like number five? It just this is our first show. Questions. I don't know. It just said pop questions. Okay. Okay. Who was. Wait. Hi, rocketed? Yeah. Okay. Who was rocketed to superstardom in 1998 by the hit single Baby One More Time? A. Madonna. <laughs> B. Britney Spears. C. Beyonce. Or D. Christian Allen. I agree. You're going to pick my answer. No, uh, well, I'm not. It's Britney. Yeah, it's Britney. <laughs> <laughs> Got one. That's too bad. All right, this has to be the time. Yeah. Are we doing this one? Yeah, just pick one. You can get it. Pick one that commercial. you think is like easy. Presidential. History. Let that be the the, the tiebreaker. <laughs> do you want to do something else for the tiebreaker? Like another? I don't know. Let's Here. See. He can pick if he wants to do basketball. If okay. you want to find a basketball one, I'll go with it. But we should write our answers down. Brian, it sounds like good to us. Yeah, he keeps on stealing mine. Okay. No. Swipe or no swiping. Swipe or no swiping. Wait, hold on. Okay. Should we do that one? Yeah. Okay. What team won the very first in NBA game? A, New York Knicks, B, Toronto Huskies, C, Chicago Stags, or D, um, Philadelphia Warriors? Um, I'm going to go with D. I'm going to go with the Warriors as well. 
wrong. What was it? New York Knicks. I was going to say that, but I wanted to steal an answer just like what you did. I don't know if they were That should go to something different. Yeah, they, they're... All right. We really can't pick the same. All right. <laughs> all right. We can't pick the same one, no matter what. Who was what. the first player in NBA history to be elected league MVP by a unanimous vote? Wow. Uh, a na- unanimous vote. Yeah. I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> That's a All right, he got it. He won. Okay. okay. Won. Congratulations to Mr. Connor Scott Brown on this one. But I'll be back <gasps> next week as we have the categories: presidential history, music of the '80s, and what's the third category? Football. And football. <laughs> yeah. So back to you at the stadium studio.